In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy bourbon label using the Curiosities font collection. While you don't need this font collection to make the label, it's a worthy investment and it makes it a lot of fun. Here's why I love this library of fonts so much. You get 39 unique fonts inspired by early 20th century design. That includes both OTF and TTF files, so technically there are 78 fonts in the download file. This diverse bundle includes scripts, layered fonts, brush scripts, vintage beer and whiskey inspired sans, distressed fonts, and hand lettered fonts. Plus, each of these fonts was made by vintage font expert Jeremy Vesey. Jeremy has niched down and he focuses exclusively on fonts that are inspired by the late 19th century and the early 20th century. Lastly, these fonts come with tons of useful extra characters, so we're talking about things like swashes, decorative text, and beautiful ampersands. So grab the pack now and follow along with this tutorial and start making some killer retro inspired designs. Okay, let's get started. So like I said, we're going to be creating a simple beer label. So the first thing I want to do is just create a background. I want to just create a matte, a, a warm matte black essentially. I'll lock that in place. And this is where we actually build, build the label out. Now we can adjust this label later if it's not the perfect size. So I'm just gonna start with whatever size I think fits well. A little more yellow to that, fade it, kind of get this faded paper color. And remember, we can change, of course, any of this at any time. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut these corners here. Now I'm just lining it up using the guide, little guides here. But you can obviously get much more specific if you wanted to. We go to Pathfinder, minus front, and we have one side, and then how I like to do it, is I'm just going to duplicate it, Object Transform, Reflect. I like reflecting because I know that it's going to be perfectly even, I don't have to even question if I got, got the dimensions right. And then I can combine these two, go to Pathfinder, Unite, and I'm just going to select one half of it with the direct select tool and just make it not quite as wide. Just a little more like that. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to add a border around this. So to do that I'm going to do Command C and then I'm going to do Command F and that's duplicating my layer on top of itself. And I am going to create a border here and then I'm going to go to Object, Path, Offset Path, and then just by clicking Preview, you'll see that I can just bring this number down and I can actually see my border nice and evenly coming in here. Just like that, I'm going to make it a little thicker. And then I'm going to expand it, and what that does is make it so it's no longer the size of the outline. Okay, and I'm going to group these with Command G so they don't slip away from each other. I'm going to align them to my artboard, to keep it nice and clean. And then I'm going to lock this in place and let's start the fun part, which is using the fonts here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get Gibson. And I'm going to just, I'll just call this beer Gibson. So getting the standard font that comes with it, and I'm going to select Gibson. And script and then something I like about this is I can go to type I can select glyphs and now I have a library that I could put down here of all the extra glyphs that come with this this comes in really useful especially for script fonts well for all fonts but especially for script fonts because like for instance here I want to add tail to the end of this and I can do that just by doing that and then I want to angle this slightly, so I'm going to go to Transform Shear, Vertical Shear, Preview, because I always want to see how much I'm shearing it. And then just slightly angle it just like that. Let's so make that a little bigger, because so we want to create some hierarchy here. And the title of the beer is one of the most important. Okay, now let's add some of the extra text details in. And now using Barley Aged, I'm going to start adding in some supplementary information here. 
So for instance, we're gonna put old shack. Again, I'm gonna do the eyedropper tool. Okay, so this is the fun part. So I'm gonna make this a little smaller. And then in the characters, I wanna make the, I wanna space these out a little bit more. That, I'm gonna be pretty generous with my spacing. And again, this is where the glyphs panel comes in really useful because we can add some nice decorative elements on both sides of this. So by going to the glyphs panel, I can look for a little swishy line. Add one there. Add another one here. And as you can see, yeah, we're just adding little touches that make this that much nicer. I'm going to eyedropper tool because I want to use the same. Actually, I can't because. And I believe I had the other one at. Is it at seven? Yeah, I don't think that. And then I'm going to use a line tool. To... Oh, actually, no, I'm going to use. I'm going to duplicate this box. Here's a little trick here. So, Command C, Command F another box, reflect it so it's a fill instead of a line, and then I just made a little area to put text right there. And then why don't we add a couple hops leaves on the sides here, or wheat leaves actually. Circle here, circle, I'll zoom in while I do this. These, Same right about the center. Finder, and that was intersect. Okay, so now you can see we have a pretty good little leaf here. I'm gonna narrow it just a tad. But by doing this, this is just using basic shapes things how we want it. I'm duplicating this. And then once I've done it once, I can click Command D over and over and it'll just keep doing it. Because again, this time I'm eyeballing it. Again, if this was for a client. I would definitely be more careful to make sure that it was balanced. And now, by grouping this, now I have my own little wheat leaf here. I can just duplicate it over here. It's looking real nice. I can group these together, and then when I center, they're going to stay nice and center. Now, this is an asset I could use forever. So, align that there. And there we have it. We have a label that has been made using just two of the fonts from the Curiosities font collection. And with the Curiosities font collection, tons of them come with extra glyphs. In fact, I think all of them come with extra glyphs. You can do a lot of really cool stuff in it. I hope you found this useful. Grab the pack today for a great price. Uh, you won't regret it. This is one of our top selling font packs and it's just so useful. If you do anything that involves packaging, beers, spirits, alcohols, drinks in general, or anything that just needs a retro touch, this really is an ideal pack. 